Hello and welcome to class 3 of the series of 10 yin yoga classes. In yin yoga we go slower and we stay in the postures a little longer so that the body can adjust and release and get the full effect. Today we're doing anxiety relief. Let's see how we feel it. We start on all fours as usual. Table pose, knees hip distance apart, arms shoulder distance apart, neutral table pose. And we put the balls of the feet on the mat and lift the tailbone until we get the knees bent for a first down dog of the day. Lower the right heel, bring it up. Lower the left heel, bring it up and start walking the dog, stretching the legs one at a time. And then find your edge on down dog. We stay here for a few seconds, feeling the full stretch of the back of the legs, the skin, the spine. And now leap the left foot where it is and start walking the right foot forward slowly and place your knee on the mat between your palms and then the left leg will slide back for pigeon pose. And then we'll place the elbows in the front or the hands, depending on where you're at today, finding your edge, looking for what works for you today. And we breathe here. releasing anxiety. First order of the day is to not push. So look within your body and find the place where there is no pain that is not entirely comfortable to give the body a chance to open and release. Use long inhales and long exhales to become aware of the breath. Many of you know I live near Newark, so there are airplanes flying around, which is fun. Adjust yourself so you can stay in the posture. And if something hurts, take child pose and rest on it and return to the pose when you're ready. We don't want to bring the body anxiety when we're trying to release it. So we work with what we have. I'm going to reach a little further and you can do these or you can stay where you are don't force. And breathe there in your edge. Being a beginner is a good thing because you don't have to go further. But as we practice more, we have to go further and further to feel sensation. Very slowly, come onto your elbows or your palms and bring that knee back. Come onto table pose. Feel table, feel how that 
leg feels in comparison to the other one now. Release tension from the neck. Get the knees together. Bring your back to your heels and go on to child pose. Any tension that may have come up, let it go. Let your spine round and melt over your knees and your thighs. Forehead on the mat or the top of the forehead, right where the hairline is. Let your face go completely and smile in your heart. I've been getting so many benefits from this practice. You feel them during the day. They bring a relaxation feeling sense of ease. Let's come back to table pose. The knees go again to hip distance apart, both knees at the distance of the hips. Balls of the feet on the mat, half down dog. Does this one feel different than the one before? and then straighten the legs or walk the dog first until you can straighten them, but don't overdo it, just working with our body. Leave the right foot right where it is, grounding, and start moving the left foot forward and bring the knee in between your palms, the left knee, and the right foot is going to slide back. So we enter pigeon pose on the other side. Good. And then we can stay here for pigeon, and eventually go to the elbows, middle way, and melt into the body in this pose. No pain, just sensation. If you feel like yawning, that's a good sign. If you experience a sigh here and there, that's also very good. We're doing a passive stretch. If you need to readjust so as to not force, always do that. We stay a few more seconds. And walk the palms back up. Release that left leg and come back to all fours. Bring the knees together and we go on to child pose one more time. But this time, bring the arms around you and put them next to your legs, palms facing up for a different sensation.
Bring your palms forward and come back to table pose very slowly, no rush. We're letting go of all anxiety, all nervousness. Knees hip distance apart again. And we're going to come to a simple posture. Simple legged, cross legged posture. We're going to do the happy baby pose and then Savasana. Remember to subscribe and uh, let's keep going. So lay down on your back. Knees bent. And now grab your feet. And then lift the feet to where you can. Open the legs wide and be in this happy baby pose <laughs> to make us happy. Release all that anxiety from the hips. So we're grabbing the outside of the feet with our hands. The elbows can be in between the legs or outside. And we regulate the sensation. Happy baby. Release the palms and bring the feet together and then lower them to the mat. And straighten the legs, lay down for a well-deserved Savasana. Savasana is also a pose that we hold for a few minutes. We have an opportunity to let all tension drip from us onto the mat, onto the ground. The earth can take all that anxiety. She can receive it. So we melt it and leave it here. And we get that floating sensation. Relax the face and all the muscles on your cheeks, the optic nerve. Relax the jaw. And relax your body in full. And when you're ready, roll over your back to the side and peel yourself up to come to a seated posture. Thank you for coming. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.